Welcome back, everyone, to Planescape Torment. Uh, in case you missed it, my attributes have gotten huge. <laughs> oh, no, my intelligence dipped. Oh, darn. Uh, maybe, maybe those bugs were not as long-lasting as I thought they were. Oh, well, even if it... Ah, oh, it was just a temporary buff. Even though it was just a temporary buff, it was well worth the cost. That's fine. These things happen. I should have been more judicious with their use. Uh, the left hand, right? Hmm. Or is the creature larger than I think it is? That is not the arch. Right hand? Oh, there it is. Welcome to hell! We all know what we did and we all deserve to suffer. Fuck. We gotta be careful down here. These things are tough. And nothing down here is nice. Yeah, the things down here are pretty fucking tough. God, the costs. The costs I'm going to pay here are great. This is hell. Everything comes with a cost. Especially the favors. A damsel in distress? Oh, fuck! Whomstead have could have seen this coming? Dear God. It is fascinating to watch the lemurs just lose all fucking cohesion. Oh, fuck. Asshole. What the... I hope that was... I hope that was a trap. I and mean, just like, eh, suddenly fireball. Yeah, there's not much in Bator. Oh, Jesus Christ! So it's just hanging out here. God, and it never stops. The sight of this thing, this horrible, towering, pulsating thing, fills you with nausea. Unfounded loathing and a faint sense of familiarity, the innumerable rotting heads which make up the vast pile seem to constantly shift and throb, alternately bickering, weeping, conversing, shouting, and whispering to one another. Heads constantly bubble to the surface of the stack from somewhere within its foul core, while others sink back into the grisly pile. Get the pillar's attention. Psst, Chief, listen. I can't let that thing see me. You gotta get me out of here. Drop me off somewhere. Pick me up later or something. Mort, I'm going to speak to it now. You take another cautious step towards the pillar, and all their conversations abruptly stop. The dozens of heads that line the pillar's surface slowly turn to face you in unison. They regard you silently, their breath fetid and moist upon you until they notice Mort cowering behind you. Oh no. 
Every head on the pillar's surface speaks at once to make the thing's voice a terrible, burbling sound that bubbles forth with foul, stinging vapors and putrid corruption stream from their mouths. You again! Tis been a long time indeed! Many of the heads begin to gibber, drool, chanting skull, 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 gleefully licking their lips, their eyes fixated upon Mort. What do you mean? Silence! We are not speaking to you, but to the skull. Welcome back, little one. Have you at last decided to return to the fold to accept your final fate? To take up once more your sacred duty? Several heads burst forth from the pillar's core, gnashing their broken teeth and wailing. Yes, come back. Come back to a skull. Skull. I can't go back, chief. I can't. I can't. I can't. He hasn't come back to you, but I have questions for you, pillar of skulls. Every head on the pillar's surface speaks at once to make the thing's voice a terrible burbling sound that bubbles forth from foul stinging vapors. The smell, tis strong, it shall cross the plain soon, and Bell will come. The smell, what do you mean? The smell, her musk, the Tanadi musk, the bittersweet scent carries and will attract Betezu soon. Their lord, Bell, will be angry. I see. Oh, that's just great. If have you questions for us, you'd best be quick. As I said before, I had. Before you can finish, a portion of the pillar trembles as yet another head oozes its way to the surface. After some of the noisome slime has sloughed off, you recognize it's Farod's. It spits out a mouthful of bloody cysts and croaks, Anna, me darling child, is that you? Da, what you be doing in this place? The other heads remain mostly silent for a time, as Farod speaks, only a few whispers quietly to themselves, making wicked sidelong glances at Anna and her foster father's head. I was wrong, my girl, about the sphere. It wasn't enough, no. And now look where I've ended. I beg of you, lovely Anna, save your poor father. Save me. Oh, please, save me. But even as it speaks, Farod's mewling head begins to sink back into the pillar's core. Anna stares hard at the pillar. Eyes narrowed, her fists clenched, and tail rigid. A mixture of fury and anguish is smeared across her trembling face. I wish I could help him. It's a tragic thing to happen to anyone. No matter. Did you love Farad or not? He was my da. I hated him. He only saw me in a way to scarper more bodies, more jink and jink to, more jink and junk to line his vault. Anna dear, Anna lass, you're the most precious thing in me vault. He'd lie and he'd lie and he was weak of mind and weak of body and he smelled a corpse rot and had all the feelings of a vulture picking at a corpse. And he was the only one to ever show me a scrap of kindness. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is it? Are you pleased now? Enough, we tire of your insignificant prattle. Know your business with us. Questions. I have questions. Ask a question of us, then, and be prepared to hear our demands. You shall render unto us a service for your answer. How do I reach the Fortress of Regrets? We would answer that question for a service. What's your demand, Pillar? The Skull. We demand the skull as tribute. Return him to us and you shall have your answer. Don't, we put, don't put me back there, chief. Cease your feeble protestation, skull. The decision is not yours. Too long has he cheated. His fate, he is ours. Were you to return him, we would be most well disposed towards such a gift. We wish to savor his screams. What other gifts would you accept? There is knowledge you possess that we wish for ourselves. Where does the fiend Fjol Forked Tongue reside? Tell us, and we shall answer your question. I won't say. What other gifts would you accept? There is an object in your possession that we wish for ourselves. The Modron Cube. Give it to us, and we shall answer your question. I can't do that. What other gifts would you accept? God! She will do. Yes, the Tanari. Give her to us. We will consume her alive, bathe ourselves in her sweet blood, and then we will answer your questions. What other gifts would you accept? The Fiendling. 
Give us the tiefling girl. Yes, we shall tear her apart within us. Revel in the basking of her sweet fiery blood. Nope. You have nothing for us. Save yourself. Come, immortal. Give us a taste of your undying blood. And then we shall answer your question. I agree to your demands. Though you draw only a single step nearer, you suddenly find yourself much closer to the pillar's writhing surface than you had imagined. Before you can react, it presses forward into you like a wave of broken bone and rotting worm-infested meat. As the rancid darkness envelops you, you pi the pillar's heads begin to consume you alive. Fall into darkness. Max HP decreased permanently. Oh, God. And my answer. Already you possess the key. I need only location of the portal. That shall lead you there. We know not where the portal lies, but we will tell you its key. Regret. Yes. Regret. 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 My journal. Yes, you must have experienced regret to breach the fortress. Write it upon a piece of your flesh, and your passage through the portal is assured. You say you don't know where the portal is. Only three have known the way. The first was you, though you've forgotten. The second lies beyond the portal and shall not emerge. And the third, the third one you've already met. They know of your condition, the fortress and your need to reach there, but they shall not help you. Their shield is one forged from the cold metals of lies and deceptions, a thing you cannot hope to break with mere words. You must do battle with them. Who? You've met the liar. And not for the first time. The liar knows, but did not tell you. A petty betrayal between immortals. Trius. Updated my yes. <laughs> Though we know him by his full name, Trius the Betrayer. But he said he didn't know me. He lied to you. Beware words soaked in honey. They attract all manner of wasps. Why would he lie to me? The answer is not ours to give. You must seek him out yourself and ask him. How did you come to know this? Trius exchanged words with you once, long ago, when you knew the way. You spoke your heart, and Trius, in the way of all great betrayers, listened well to build your trust. Short the conversation was, though filled with meaning, meaning and death is what you seek. Two separate things they are for a normal man, but for you, they are one and the same. I have another question. Who is my killer? What the f- Who am I? Who cares? Forget it, Pillar. Farewell. Leave. Quickly. Oh, now it's shouting trespasser. Dear God. Hey, bro, what's up? Oh, fuck. I have 57 health now. Hi, boys. What's going on? Mort, quick, get in there with your very high armor class. Quick. Dakon, fire the missiles of patience. Flames await. I don't think flames will help us here, but I'll give it a shot. Fuck it. Dear God. Uh. Bugs! Oh, wow, the Missile of Patience does actually do something. It's just very slow or easy to resist. Hit him with the axe. Fuck. Oh, it is. Oh, it's barely injured. I thought it said badly injured. I was like, yeah, get him, axe. Nope. Pile on! All right. Green Abishai? I don't think I've encountered these yet. Damn. I'm, gone. I'm much more fragile than I used to be. What with the whole uh, lowering my maximum health by 15. Oh, this isn't good at all. That's fine. I can work with this. Maybe not. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm hurt. Fuck. Bart, help. Oh, nope, I can't have Ignis dying. I only get three raised deads. Okay, uh, special ability, raised dead. Okay. Uh, we've got Anna's punch daggers, but those were not the punch daggers she was using. Oh. Oh, it's Gerace's ring. I thought it was someone else's ring. And she keeps the jerkin of the brazen rogue. Sick. Um, to do greater action. Gonna want that. Great. Yes, the stinger, you're right. I know Anna had all the silver things. There we go. Punch daggers of Morin. Okay. Right, the dread bond increases strength. Ooh. Here are all the medical supplies. Don't imagine we could rest down here. Gonna guess here. no. Perfect. Okay. Crap. Seven hundred pounds. Oops, his health was full a while ago. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Why'd I walk that way? Why'd I do this? I can't exist in melee combat anymore. Jesus Christ. Ready. <sighs> this is what I was saving all of these medical supplies for. Because I knew this was coming. Very well. Protection from evil. Okay. Oh, it's a rusty dagger. Huh. Oh no, motherfucker, I can't. <laughs> 
Oh no. Keep retreating. All right, good. They've uh, reduced their numbers to manageable levels. <laughs> Mort, how do you know what the Latin language is? How do you know that? Dear God. How's this Earthblade doing? The streaming blade. Okay. Doubles all first level mage spells. That's pretty cool. Well, speaking of. Dear God. It's as if the red hot stone itself is bent on preventing passage. Uh, call lightning? Why? What, what the fuck just happened? I didn't know call lightning had friendly fire. <laughs> Don't tell me it does bonus damage versus undead. Drink it. Drink the embalming fluid fast. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, damn. Did I get an extra spirit missile? Yes. Good. Attack them. Uh, Reign of Anger. Okay. Nothing's worth this. Please let's get out of here, okay? I'm on it. <laughs> I'm gone. Now that the uh oh motherfucker. Okay. Impressive. Not exactly super powerful, but impressive. Fuck. Please stop saving against all my spells. I need those to kill you. Fuck. Oh, actually... Will this heal me? Did you see that? I don't know, I think it did, maybe. Huh. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, please don't tell me that. Hey, what's 
Um. I'm gone. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have the information I need. So how the fuck do I get out of here? Hmm. Oh, are you kidding me? I got a little swirl instead of a pointer for there for a second, I think. All right. Nope. Well, how do I find obsidian? I'm gone. Oh, no, that was me right-clicking to twist the image. Motherfucker! I cut my tongue, speak the truth, and exit. All right. Back to the Outlands. Crisis averted. Well, sort of. Hey, dude, we're all fucking dying. What's up? I'm going to take a nap and then we can talk. <laughs>